Hi there. In this screencast, we'll look at resources. Um, and then we'll assign these resources or allocate these resources to a project as well as to a task. Uh, and then we'll be able to see what um, the labor for our project will cost. Later on, we'll look at adding expenses and then we'll find the total cost for a project. So presently, we know how long the project's going to take. Again, if you click on the planning option, you'll see when the project finishes. In my situation, I'm looking at, by the way, my bathroom renovation. And I can see by the Gantt chart, once all the tasks are linked up, that my project will finish on the 9th of September. So now I want to figure out how much this project will cost. And then we can set a baseline and then see how we're doing when we actually work the project. So in order to add resources, you use the resource option. So it's a little person in red next to a computer. Um, our project, of course, is construction, so it would be more fitting to have a hammer, but uh, Projector is uh, originally designed to create software. So you can see that I have a number of resources, and uh, the way I have you name them is the, the um, resource name, their job, and then your name. Uh, the thing is with resources in Projector, is that they're available for all projects. So as you add your resources, you'll see all of the other resources as well. So presently I have four resources here. Um, as you add your resources, you'll see more and more and more resources. So you want to um, also create a team with your name on it so we can add that the resources to a team. Um, what the team does is it limits resources from being added to other teams. So your resources can only add, uh, belong to your team. So um, it kind of helps you categorize um, your resources. So first of all, I'm going to create a team, and then I'm going to add my resource to a team. I've already got a, a team called Student 30. I'll just create a test team so you can see what that looks like. So if you click on the Teams button here, you see there's my one team. Uh, again, the teams will be populated. We'll have uh, 29 teams here eventually once you create all of your uh, resources and teams. So to create a new team, I just choose new team, and then I give it a name. And that's, all I that's all that's required. So I'll call this uh, test team, and I'll save it. So now I have two teams. Um, We'll see where these come up once I add the resource. Um, once I, uh, I see that in the drop down list, I'll come back here and remove it. So I click on resources, and I'm going to add I, uh, presently I have a general labor, carpenter, electrician, and drywaller. We have some plumbing that we need to do as well, so we need a plumber to do that for us. So I'll click on my new resource button here. The real name will be Chris James. You'll notice that all of these names are ambiguous. It could be male or female. And Chris James is the plumber. And he's my resource. So that's why I'm adding Marcus. So when you create your resources, you can use your first and last name. There's only one Marcus in this class, so it'll be easy to differentiate. But uh, if there's more than one of you with uh, um, the, the same uh, first name, then make sure you add your last name. And I'll say CJ. And don't worry about the calendar. We, we're just using one calendar. In real life, you do actually want each resource to have their own calendar if their schedule is unusual. So again, our schedule is Tuesday to Friday. And I'm going to add them 
add uh, Chris to my team. So you see that team that I added just now is there as well. Um, and then you can add all of, in real life, you would add all of this information. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add a one of my email addresses so we can see what happens on the other side of the correspondence with Chris James. So I'm just going to add my email here so I can see it, see the emails that get sent. So I'm just going to add my email to one resource who will communicate with about the activity or task. So, and their main function is an expert. Um, these functions, by the way, are customizable. We can add more of those, more items to this list. Expert is the is a fine function to use in this situation, but if you need more functions, um, when you install your own version of project, projector, I should say, you can actually add more functions if you like. And I'm not going to bother with any of the other fields. I'll go ahead and save. Make it a nice little circle with a C in it for Chris. Now the next thing we need to do is we could need to allocate Chris to a project. He won't be available to be allocated to a task until we allocate him to a project. So you'll see that we have allocation to projects here and we also have allocations to projects here. I find it a little more straightforward to allocate directly in the resource. And he can have as many allocations to as many projects as we like. So I'm going to choose my project. That's the only one that comes up. Um, you'll be adding it to the uh, kitchen renovation. And he is a project member. And again, this list is also customizable. And his rate Uh, this is uh, how much um, of his rate is being paid for this job, and that's all we need to do there. So now that he's allocated to a project, we can now allocate him to a task. So I'm going to choose one of the plumbing tasks and allocate him to that. Eventually, um, I'll show you once I'm finished here, I'll have every single task allocated to a resource. So if I, I go to work, activities, I find one of my plumbing tasks. What's, which one is this? This is uh, the higher level. If I want to see my w WBS, it may be more helpful to do this via the Gantt chart. It's, it'll be more clear about, about what you're seeing. But uh, I've got plumbing and new plumbing. So this is the actual task here. And we do need a plumber to take care of that. We can't have the general contractor. So I'll just scroll down here and find my resource allocation uh, if your screen is full screen it's a little easier to navigate I want to keep this small so there we have resource assignment so we allocate a resource to a project we assign a resource to a task click on plus choose my resource so these this list will only be the resources that you have assigned, sorry, allocated to a project. And I choose OK. So if you'll, you'll see that if you scroll down, we have the duration that we've added. There it is. So we want to assign 
the plumber to that duration. If you have two resources working on the same task, they may uh, be working one day and then another resource may be working another day. So we can have as many resources assigned to a task as we like. And I'll go ahead and save. So now in order to calculate what that resource costs, we have to add a cost to the resource. So if I go back to resources here and I choose Chris James Plumber and I scroll down you see we have a function and cost area here. So to add his cost, you click on $240 a day. And we'll choose OK. So now we can start to get an idea of what the labor is going to cost on this project. So if I scroll down to the end here and choose projects, and choose my project down in the costs and works section you see that uh, my costs this is the resource costs that's what cost means is uh, net is eight hundred dollars I also have an expense of a hundred dollars so this is where we would add all of our material costs and the expense. So in order to add expense, I'm just going to add an expense for, uh, for example, flooring. I'll say the flooring for the, um, for the bathroom is going to cost about $300 or something like that. So in order to add that, I scroll down and choose project expense. This is where you add all of your material costs. So you notice I already have one for the paint. That's where that $100 came from. I'm going to add another expense here. I'll call this one flooring. And I'll say, here's our options here. And you can add all of the information about where you're getting this resource. In real life, you would add all of that. And then we think, think that's going to cost about $300. And 12% tax. And the date somewhere in July. I'll say we're going to buy it just before we start on that task. So maybe just at the beginning, at the beginning of the project. And save. So now if I go back to my project and I scroll down to cost and works, you see this project is now going to cost $1,200. So once you um, add all of your resources, um, including their costs, you allocate them to the projects, you allocate them to the tasks, then you'll, be, then you'll know what the project will cost. And we're pretty much done the planning for this project at this point. So then we can create something called a baseline, which we'll look at in the the next video. Thanks so much for watching.